What's up everybody? So in this video, we're going to be talking about zoonotic diseases. So remember, um, in C3.2, there's a bunch of topics, um, including these four. Defense against infectious disease, ABO and RH blood groups, zoonotic diseases, and antibiotics. I have made a video on this one, Defense Against Infectious Diseases, which was a huge video, so make sure you watch that eventually. And um, also, I've made a video on ABO and RH blood groups. So now we're doing zoonotic diseases, and in the next video, we'll be doing antibiotics. This video specifically will be quite straightforward, quite simple, so let's just get into it. So remember, what is a pathogen? This, this word keeps coming up, and it's very important. A pathogen is a disease-causing organism, right? It's a little, like a bad guy. But most of the time, we cannot even see these pathogens, so it's even worse that way. Now, they can be classified into two categories, living and non-living. Non-living would be a virus, and then living would be bacteria, fungi, parasites, and there are some other things as well. But these are the key things you need to know. Now, normally, normally, um, or a lot of specific pathogens are, are species-specific. That means that pathogen only infects one species. For example, only infects humans or only infects dogs. And, and, and they're only spread from the same species to the same species. So sometimes the human can be infected and then that can be spread to another human. Or a dog can be infected and that can be spread to another dog. Now, that is the case in a lot... That is the um, how it normally works. But there are some diseases that we call zoonotic diseases. And these diseases actually manage to go in between species from animal to human. Instead of going from animal to animal, they can go from animal to human. So these diseases will get transmitted or from, from certain animals like cows, mosquitoes, and dogs to humans, okay? That's what we call zoonotic. So here I have the specific definitions. So like I just said, many infectious, infectious diseases are specific, um, but those that can cross species, so in other words, from one species to another kind of species, specifically animal to human, those are called zoonotic. I spelled it wrong here. Zoonotic diseases. There, zoonotic diseases. Okay, so we need to know about four specific examples of zoonotic diseases. Rabies, tuberculosis, otherwise known as uh, TB, uh, COVID-19, and Japanese encephalitis. But you need to know very little, so let's just go quick into it. So rabies, this is the one, um, this is a very interesting one. It's a very, very, very deadly one if you're not vaccinated. But this disease is transmitted from, from animals, such as dogs, to humans. The common, most common one is by a dog bite, right? When a dog has rabies and they bite you, um, you will have rabies as well. So this is one example of zoonotic disease. And the pathogen, right, the specific pathogen is a virus. So this virus will be in the dog's saliva or whatnot, and when they bite you, it will get passed onto your body. Now, what does rabies virus do? When you get rabies virus, it, it will go and... and um, affect your brain and spine. It will cause damage to your brain and spine. And this is why it's so deadly, right? If your brain and spine gets damaged, you can very easily die, which is why if you get rabies and you're not vaccinated, you're 100% going to die. It's one of the most deadly, highest mortality rates um, diseases. So the best protection against rabies is to get a vaccine. And if you do get bitten and you don't have a vaccine, the absolute best and must, the thing you must do is go to the doctor, immediately wash that wound, um, immediately get treatment to try and increase your odds of surviving. But in reality, you have a very low odds of surviving if you get bitten by rabies without a vaccine. Uh, this rabies can be kind of everywhere. It is highly, uh, it typically, more, it's more prevalent in African and Asian countries, but I honestly don't think you need to worry about that much. It's just a epidemiology thing. It's where it's present. That's kind of what this picture is showing. So what's the next disease? TB. So this one, tuberculosis, um, there is many different kinds of tuberculosis. There are one, there's one kind of tuberculosis which is transmitted between humans, and then there's this one, tuberculosis, that can be transmitted from cow to humans, or cattle. Or cattle. The specific um, pathogen is a bacteria this time. It's not a, not a virus like in rabies. It's a bacteria, and the name of that bacteria is Mycobacterium bovis. Um, this disease is highly prevalent in Africa, also Asian countries and stuff like that, but it's highly prevalent in Africa. And when you get infected by this one, the way you can get infected is, because a cow doesn't really bite you, right? It's not like a dog that is prone to biting you. 
a cow, the way they get it from cows is either through their products, like their milk or their meat. If their milk, or if, if they are infected, it means their milk and their meat will be infected. So if we eat their mil meat, meat and drink their milk and it's infected, we will get infected. So that's a common way of getting infected by from the cattle. Um, what gets infected? Unlike rabies, which your brain and spine was influenced, tuberculosis will infect your lung. You can get lung damage, kind of like COVID, right? COVID also affects your lung. Um, a good way to pr protect yourself against this is getting a vaccine, once again, beforehand. And obviously, just preventing exposure to cow, uh, cow's uh, things, but that's hard to prevent because a lot of people do drink milk and eat meat, right? Okay, so that's the second one. Next one, Japanese encephalitis. So this one, as you can see, is interesting because it's highly prevalent in Asia, not really in the rest of the world. Now, the name encephalitis, that means inflammation of the brain. Anytime you see itis, itis, that implies inflammation. So, and, and encephalitis, enceph means brain. It's kind of like the brain. So encephalitis means inflammation of the brain. So this disease causes brain damage. And how it's transmitted is the pathogen is a virus. And basically this mosquito, spe the specific kind of mosquito, which I don't think you need to worry about, is the Culex mosquito. This mosquito will somehow pick up this virus from, from somewhere um, um, and then it will bite you. It will bite you trying to suck your blood. And in the process of sucking your blood, this virus, which is in its body, will be going into your blood at the same time. So in that way, unintentionally, it infects you. All it wants is your blood. But because it's infected with this virus, the virus will no doubt go into your bloodstream and then travel to your brain and cause brain damage, which is also very deadly. Again, a very good way to protect yourself against this one is vaccine. Okay, let's go to the last one. The last one you need to know about, COVID. You should know about and know a bit about this one already. COVID-19, we all know it's a virus. The specific kind of virus is SARS-CoV-2. Um, the origin, the animal origin is very unclear. So a lot of people believe it's bats or it's um, whatever, many kinds of animals. So scientists know it's from an animal, but the first animal is unsure. They don't know where it's from, but they know COVID can be transmitted from animal to human, like from a dog to a human, but they just don't know what the first animal was, where it first came from. That's why. Um, Obviously, COVID is everywhere, right? It maybe it's more, more. Um, it was, it made more, more, more damage in Europe because I know a lot of people in Europe got it. But pretty much, COVID nineteen is worldwide. Just like TB, tuberculosis, it infects your lung, right? Because it's inhaled. Okay, it's inhaled. TB can also be inhaled, but mostly it is through eating the milk and the cow products. Um, but COVID nineteen is inhaled, goes to your lungs, damages it, and again, the best way to protect yourself against this is vaccine. So that is it for zoonotic diseases. So what you need to know is what zoonotic means, what zoonotic diseases are. It is just animal to human spread diseases. That's all it is. And you need to know these four examples very vaguely. Don't go too ham on all the details, but just I would, I, that's why I made these cars nice and simple. Know what animal, know what kind of pathogen, not even the specific name, just know it's virus or bacteria. Um, you can pay attention to where it's come from, but it's probably the least important part and know what part, in, uh, part it affects. And for all of them, the good best prevention is vaccine. So um, that's it for this video. I hope this was useful. I hope you learned something from it, and um, I'll see you in the next one.